How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. I got Wiley with me today. What's up, buddy? Hey, good morning. Doing all right? Yeah. Man, it's beautiful. It, it, yeah. Beautiful outside. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't think I said, I didn't, you didn't think I called you beautiful. Well, I was you? wondering. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, that's, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So, I was. It was funny because you know, funny ha ha, funny strange. Funny ha ha and funny strange because I was actually, you know, you 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 thought I had said something which made me think about. I've been actually practicing lip reading to be honest with you. So I, I was looking at my neighbors last night. Sorry. Evidently, they were arguing about some creepy guy next door. You know, so. I, <laughs> So we had this old Mack truck, right? So we got to get the fuel injection pump does not work. So we either got to take it off, get it unstuck or something, right? Is that yeah. what we're doing? Did you bring your torch? Oh no, <laughs> we probably should have though, huh? So that's what the plan is today. What year is this truck? 77, I think. It's so a 77. If I'm, if I'm not wrong. Okay. I think it, it was in Smokey and the Bandit. So, actually, if you haven't seen it, the truck on Wiley's channel, Don't Be Wiley, he's, he's done some work to it as well, but he couldn't figure it out, so he calls me and... Uh, <laughs> Well, you actually, you know, the wish mechanic come in <laughs> the there, wish. too. Dude, I think that's so funny when you said that. You was like, the, I, I asked for a real mechanic and got the wish version. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cracks me up. So we're going to crack this thing open, see if we can't get the fuel injector pump to start working again, uh, and, and go from there. So Let's take that side cover off, spray it, because a lot of comments said the springs are stuck. A lot yeah. of comments said it's junk. Yeah, yeah. It'd be one or the other one. Yeah, so we'll take it off and spray some uh, liquid wrench in there and yeah. fool around with those springs and see if, see if something okay. good comes out of it. Yeah, sounds good. All right, here we go. Hit that bulldog. There it is, it's still on there. Yeah. Hey guys, this is actually toward the end of the video. I'll need y'all to watch the video. Um, we'll, we'll try to make it bearable for you. But we're stuck and we need your help. So if we got any Mac mechanics out there or any mechanics that know about how to remove a fuel injection pump, we're, we're stuck. So watch the process and then when we get to the end, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what all we've done and then you tell us where we need to go. So here we go. Let's get started with the video. So this is a side plate that you're thinking about taking yeah. off. Let's look at that one more time. Okay. How does this come off? Come off? I know the splines here, we got to take this off done to, uh, you know, take it off so it'll come off. But if you take it off here, you're not going to have enough room mm -hmm. right there, there compressor. Yeah, that's a good point. And it needs to be timed, I would assume. So, well, I think we could time it after we take it off. If we go uh, number one, top dead center, yeah. they're going to send the pump back time number one top dead center right or is the pump got to go out of here number one top dead center well your your engine needs to be on top dead center number one yeah yeah or okay i see what you're saying you can yeah. time it after the fact but so how do you do that so is there a mark on the damper there i just been reading about that and i read on the flywheel yeah, there's one on the flywheel yeah. or possibly on the flywheel one on the damper right but i would think that I would think that you've got a one and two chance of getting it on top dead center, right? Because because don't the cam, don't the cam turn for uh, I mean not the cam, don't the crank turn for twice for every one turn of the fuel pump? Because it would go top dead center, bottom dead center, then the, then the fuel would be dispensed at top. I mean right before top dead center. Is that not right? You, you lost me at talking. Well, I'm you know compressed. Oh, Top dead center on the compression stroke is what we're after, right. I think. But well, you need. Yeah, got to need something. See on top of that harmonic balancer. Oh yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be there just for a show. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're right. That's probably it. That's probably more. So we probably need to turn it and get it on mark with that. Right, right, right. That's probably the. 30 degrees I've been I've tried to read up on it 30 degrees oh is it 30 so I, I know I don't know eight degrees some of them I don't know what it is hey we give me eight now nine now nine now, now ten it's about 60 out here <laughs> I just didn't know if we needed to have yeah but I think so Hank I think that's gonna have to have something to yeah, do yeah I agree with. but first let's just take this cover off okay and maybe we don't have to go yeah maybe we can get them unstuck TDC yeah 
They like that acronym. I do. I do like that acronym, TDC. So, yeah, we can we can do that. I want to get my gloves because you know I'm fragile. <laughs> oh. Did we use a chrome socket last time? I think we did, didn't we? Oh, yeah, I think we did on top. You know, we flew with the uh, box on top and had a lot, you know, people say that was, you know, just where you got the governor to keep you from tamping with the oh, yeah. tamper proof or whatever it is. I wonder if, you remember what size it was? Seven, six, seven, seven. I wonder if these would be better than a socket. Is that what it is? Uh, half. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. These, these might be better. I hope that we can just simply um, knock, you know, put knock some sense into it. <laughs> yeah. Get that old hammer knocker working, you know what yeah. I mean? That'd be a lot better than. Get on boats right here, Hank. Maybe. And that'll give enough room to. Maybe. That shaft. Maybe it twist comes up like that. We'll see. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, give us a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything and uh, helps the channel out. It tells YouTube, hey, these clowns are doing something right. So if you don't mind giving us a thumbs up. If you're watching it on your phone this way, turn your phone up this way and underneath the video is a, um, a little icon of a thumb. We'd appreciate that. Wiley, I just did a video. Um, the other day about five reasons why you should buy a classic truck. Now I think I'm going to do a video of five reasons why you should uh, buy a new truck. Can I? Can you give one reason here? <laughs> Can you give us a tease? Yeah. You got a box or something to put these in? Uh. Oh, I think I did have to use a wrench. If I'm not mistaken. You know? Yeah. Really? Always one, ain't they? Yeah. Try something else here. Yeah, wasn't there one right here? Yeah. Behind the hole. Yeah, let me get that. You want to get a wrench? One of your um, ratcheting wrenches? Yeah. Or you get it with that? Maybe. I'll get that with my finger now. Was well, that even tight? <laughs> no. That must have been the last one we put in that day. <laughs> yeah. Hit with this. Yeah, it must have been. You know, me and my wife were talking last night. I'm really proud of her. She told me, she said, you know, you've really grown as a person. I thought that was pretty nice of her. I mean, her exact words were, man, you're getting fat. But I mean, I know <laughs> what she meant. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all night. Tip your waitresses. Well, you said you and your wife was talking. I knew that was a story. <laughs> right there. She's usually your wife talking and... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm listening, right? Yeah, well, no, not really. Yeah. I was just being nice. <laughs> so, Wiley, I ordered a new tool pouch off Amazon. That's, uh, it rolls up and you can lay it, like, across your, you can lay it across your, uh, like, your tire or whatever. Yeah. How are we going to put that back on with it being broke? Didn't we break that? I'm sure we can find one of those. How many times are we going to take this cover off, you reckon? Well, this time and one more will be three. Oh, wait a minute. Now, it just says timed for port closing at 22 dot degrees bottom. What's BTC? Bottom top dead center. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to Google what BTC means. Before top center. I bet that's what it is. 22 degrees before top center because that's when your valves are open. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that should so that damper there will have a, a mark on it for 22 degrees, I think. Does that make sense? Be pretty cool. 
Why is this an only hard one? I must have put it on. <laughs> Probably. It's just, you can't get your fingers in there, you know? What are we doing for lunch today? Mexican? <laughs> we are fans of the old Mexican food joint there. Mexicano. The big reveal! Alright. That's what she looks like on the inside. Remember there. it was this one that wouldn't do it anything. That's right. Got out of the old PB blaster here. Yeah. yeah, we hit that pretty hard on the injectors the other day. Y'all, wait till y'all see this video that we got coming out about uh, this old John Deere motor. It's going to be awesome. PB blaster smells a little different than Liquid Ranch, don't it? Mm-hmm. We probably had a patent that they couldn't smell the same. <laughs> I told this, I mean, I say this about every video that PB Blaster bought out Liquid Ranch. B and B solvents or B and W solvents or something. Didn't it say that it's supposed to travel with the. Because they're not stuck in there. That one's down. I'm not sure. I, th I thought they said that the spring, I thought the whole unit was supposed to travel together. You know? So these, I think these springs are stuck up. And they all should be pressured down like that one? I would think so. So you're saying we got one that's right? Well, Let's uh, take the battery and turn it over. That way we bump the starter over. Do we need a cobbling kit? Yes. Right. Yes, we do. Can you remember which one was which? Nah, I slipped and see. Let me go wiggle it over. My battery cables wiggle wiggle. <laughs> or jiggle jiggle. Baby, I'm hot. Some like it hot. I'm hot to trot. Baby, let's go. How's that song go? I'm hot to trot. Baby, let's rock. Let's see if that spin those thing over. It probably will. Where'd you know? Charge it up. <laughs> of course I did. Come on, baby. All right. Let me bump it over, and you see what you see, because I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I don't either. Man. We'll, see what we see. well, one thing about it, oh, this is a, <laughs> the Exxon Valdez in here. Yeah, my boot. Yeah. My boot was used to soak it up. Come on over just a little bit. A little more. Oh, we're going to have to have a battery, ain't we? Yeah. You get that other battery and your cobbling stuff. Where's your cobbling stuff? Uh, it's right here. Wiley, I was going to tell you a joke about time traveling. Yeah. But you didn't like it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you lost me there. I've already told it to you. I traveled it. I traveled in time. And you oh my god. <laughs> I can see why I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, man. Wiley, did I ever tell you what a horrible cook my wife is? I put dental floss on the kitchen counter last night, woke up three roaches that hung themselves. I'm telling you, she's a horrible cook, dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bad, I tell you. She's so bad, we actually pray after we eat. That's how. Magnet stuck to that. Oh. Yeah, buddy. Come on, baby. What do you say now? What do you say now? I'm trying to make sure I don't touch this so we don't have some sparks in that. I mean, are we really a Hamiltonville farm video? We don't have a spark on a battery? All right. Try it again, shall we? Try it again. Hold it. Yeah, see, that ain't supposed to do that, I don't think. That's the only one that's doing it, I think. All right, spin it over. Come on. Oh, well, there's... Pardon me? I see what your problem is, lady. <laughs> come here. Ready? No, come here. Oh, sorry. I can't hear. What you got? Can you see what that is? It looks like it almost come off. Yeah, it's like a retaining washer of some sort. You know? But all of them are, they all have them at the bottom. They're not loose with them. Yeah, that plunger never plunges. It never caught. Yeah. The spring, you mean? Yeah. So I think you hit the spring. You think the spring, the spring can't hold pressure on them. Oh, that came off, Wiley. Oh. Oh. We yeah. can make a wrench out of that. Yeah, a like crow's foot. But that came off this, uh, this one. Right there. Is that supposed to be? Well, no, they all can't be that way. I mean, what's this one's the only one that worked right? Well, that's... You, th you think? Yeah, there's something that's not quite right. Yeah. See, that one's off now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like those. I'll spin it over and you watch it spin a little. All right. Cause I'm definitely gonna be able to tell what's going on. I know you will. Ready? Yeah. So none of the springs, I just feel like the springs should be moving. Let's see if we can find that mark on the bouncer. All I right. think we're going to have to come with our yeah. original right. plan. All right. Over. Just bump it small. Small oh. increments. Well. <laughs> well if, you, if you bump it over, I'll see... Like just barely bump it, and I'll I'll see what comes up. Let me get a now. Let me get a rag. Yeah, please. Let me get one. Uh. Do I see a mark right there? Huh? Is that a mark right here? 
don't know. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't moving it. Right there. Go get your camera and take a picture and zoom. Zoom. All zoom, I want to do is zoom. run my zoom, zoom, zoom and your boom, boom. Oh, boy. Yeah, there you go. What does it say? Uh, what does it read? What's well, Alex say? Don't say nothing. But that's the mark. Here, I'll show you. It's a three. Maybe. If Four, you get ready, you can send that too and get a, like a confirm. All right. Yeah. I'm going to send it to my buddy Wes. If you haven't seen him watch Wes work, go check his channel out. Did you see the way he just did that Volkswagen Rabbit the other day, that diesel? Oh, he's, he's just incredible. Just yanked that injector pump off. Oh, yeah. He's, an, yeah. he's one of the best mechanics out there. I mean, second to me and you. you know? <laughs> It's not even close. Not even close. Come on, Wes. Step your game up, dog. <laughs> he's, got, he's got all them manuals he has to read. Yeah. We just Stupid schematics. Yeah. yeah. Who needs that? I mean, you know, anybody can use a crutch. Real men of genius. <laughs> we can't say that no more. Yes, we can. No, we can't. We got to do real no. women men. No. I have a great advertising. Real oh, man, Real Men of Genius? genius. Oh, yeah, that was so awesome good. back in the day. I mean, it's the only mark on there. Dude. It yeah. has to be. Hey, we, we, we cleared off like three inches around it. <laughs> you think we got that lucky to find the right yeah. mark? Man, the Lord the Lord is with us, you know? But what did it say? He ain't answered me yet. Oh. Uh, no. Is it what kind of motor? What kind of motor is this? E, uh, no, that's a V8, ain't it? No, no, it's six cylinders. E3. Oh, no, E6. V6. Is that the only mark? I think it was set. I think that is for setting the number four and three valves. Okay. Okay. We'll bump it and look for another mark. Yeah. We like to do things different. We set it on three and four top dead set. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as just to see if our injector yeah. people can keep up. With yeah, us. come on. We'll, yeah. Bump it again and let's try to look for it. All right. I'm just proud my eyes saw it. All right, bump it. Oh, that's way too far. Oh, wait a minute. We got more marks here. I think. How was that way too far? Where at? Here. Probably the same mark we just don't. No. Oh, there's all kind of marks. Okay, that's it then. No, uh, I mean, it's like a, a, a ruler. It's like a community of marks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get... Yeah, that says number one on it. All right. Let me take a picture of it. And yeah, show. do sure. that. Bother him some more. He's probably up there busy. And <laughs> hey, I know you're trying to make a living working on real vehicles and stuff. <laughs> We won't bother him again. That looks like a number one. Can you take a picture of number one and can you show him that little thing and ask him, is it which way, is it supposed to line up here, top, where's the one at? I would assume it lines up with the flat side right here. Well, I mean, that's that, what I'm afraid of. Uh, <laughs> You're assuming. Me assuming? Yeah. It should say TDC or 10 degrees or something like that. That's what he says. Probably have to take that inspection plate off the rear end and get a screwdriver and probably just work that flywheel over since it's going to be a such. I mean, to get it to get it accurate, yeah, but we probably need to find it first. Yeah. You know. What's that read? Where? There's the mark. Is that a seven? Well, it can't be a seven. That's a T. That look like the letter T? Kind of. But there's the mark. And then, then the hash marks are beside it. It was like something they wrote in the pyramids. Yeah. Really, Wiley? What in the world? Yeah, that looks like the letter T. Top for top? I would think so. 
Surely they, they weren't that simplistic back there in the day, were they? In 77, T actually stands for top. <laughs> Where's the, uh, the other uh, tarp? Uh, it's in the back. He's he's replying. Let me see what's it. It's in that. Um, oh, here it is, right here, Molly. I lied to you. Well, it was in the back of the cab. He's replying, so we'll see. Okay. Who is this? New phone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he says. That's it. T probably chopped this skill. Huh? Advanced. He said that was it? He said that's it. T is probably top dead center. Then the scale gives to time in advance. I don't know where the pump is supposed to be set. It might be on the data plate for the engine. Usually it's around 20 degrees. So we just put it on that mark, huh? No, you need to advance it. You need to advance it maybe 20. Oh, no, it says... 22 degrees. Yeah, but it it isn't that mark kind of 22 degrees from top? It looks like on the harmonic balance or that little thing we were discussing. I mean, it ain't straight up and down. Yeah, it's got to line up with that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you take a picture of that and send it to him? Said if we line it up with that, does that look right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. let's bother him while he's still answering, and then we'll <laughs> when he quits, we'll yeah. leave him alone. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I mean, thinking that's what you're supposed to do. That wouldn't be on there if it wasn't. Are you? Are you? Oh, you're saying move the T to the hat to, to the piece of metal. Move that line to where it lines up. I agree. With that. Yes, I agree with that. 100. percent Okay. Yeah. Well, and that should be 22 degrees BTC. Yeah. If we get it 21 and a half or 22 and a half, I don't think it matters. Yeah. It's gonna run faster or a little slower. That's right. Well, I mean, all you care about is just to put the tump back. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so you need a to turn that flywheel with? I mean, no, uh, I was I was just going to clean off the bottom if that wasn't it, and because you can get up under here, but that's all right. Well, I ain't afraid of hard work. He'll lay down right beside it. We can, uh, I see. mean, we're never going to bump it into position. Oh, my goodness, Miss Na Negative Nancy. <laughs> okay. All right. Where are you going to stop it at? On this if we side. could control it, are you going to pull, it, stop it on the other side of that? Yeah, I'm going to stop it right here. Just that's because that's where you think it is. Because, well, what leads me to that is this side of this hash mark is flat. Okay. I mean, this side of this bracket or marker is flat. Which I'm would, sure once we find out, we can come back here and get a ratchet and, yeah, yeah. and put on that. Okay. I don't know what size that is. What size that be? What that is? That's a big one. I got some. I got some big sockets. That's huh? a big one there. I got some big sockets. All right, let me bump it and just see what happens. Ready? Yeah. Keep going. You more than that? A little more than that? A little more than that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay, now now start bumping it easy. Bump it easy? Yeah, you got about a quarter of a turn left to go. Come on. A little more. A little more. Okay, a little more. I mean, we got about 18. Oh, ah, oh, you went past it. <laughs> it went back to where it was. Huh? Right, try to, it went back to where it was. You what, went, wait, wait, can you come back? Yeah. Have I even moved it? Yeah, you did. It went one rotation. Oh, did it? Yeah. Wow. But again, that was good. okay. Keep going. I mean, like sling it for a minute. Sling it? Yeah. Oh, now, now move, now bump it. <sighs> went past it. We're never gonna do it this way, dude. Oh my gosh. All right. See if there's a flywheel. I can get on the flywheel. We couldn't get so lucky. If if you're gonna do that, let me get it as close so you ain't gotta turn it as far. You know what I mean? 
Because you're right now, you got to go one complete rotation. Well, let me just see if we can get to it here first. Uh, let me see what's up with this. See if there's any kind of like snakes. Okay. You're hibernating. Well. You don't think we could turn it? You don't think we turn it by the damper up there? By the where? The crank. I mean, the yeah, the crankshaft. Hey, so, I mean, it will roll. Oh, yeah? Because, well, you know, I pulled it. But I'm out of gear. Oh. Can I have a flashlight, please? Of course. Is that the famous... O light. It is the famous O light. Oh, 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 oh. O light. Yeah. Okay. okay, I get right on this right here. Well, let me bump Pretty it. Pretty easy. All right, you stay there. I'm going to bump it. And that way you ain't got to turn it much. Uh, why don't you let, let me have a pretty. Let me have a. Big pry bar? No, I can't have a big one. Let me have that little black, uh, like crow's foot thing. The ratchety one? No, no, that's too long. The other one. Okay. All right, hold on a second. Yeah. Okay. This one. That one? Yeah. I think it's going to be stout enough I can move. All right, let's see if it. If I turn it in. Yeah, I'm turning it. Yeah, you are. I mean, but you literally got 360, you got 340 degrees to go. Oh, good Lord. I'm just trying to help you out by bumping it. Keep going. Keep How many have I got now? <laughs> 339. <laughs> Tell them off, sir. <laughs> All right. You want to get, you want to get a cameraman to bump it over and you stop him? Okay, yeah. Would so, you bump it over, cameraman? Just, this, this just bump it and I'll tell you when to stop. Watch your fingers there, Wiley. No, I won't watch them. <laughs> Keys to the right side of the steering wheel. Oh, that's way too much. Let's now bump it. Me or him? Bump it. Bump it. Oh, you went too far. Try it again. Can I come back? Oh, you can come back. Yeah, let's try coming backwards. I didn't think about that. Good call. Oh, good gosh. Edit that out, camera. <laughs> Yeah, keep on coming. You got about two inches. Come on. Come on. Just a little more while. Okay, Hank. About an inch. Okay, Hank. Ah, just a tick more. Hold. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look, just a. I mean, you're an eighth of an inch. Come on. Right there. There you go. You know what, Hank? What's that? There's a boat straight up and down. To, to set the timing? No, no. It's just, uh, it's like it's on the bottom of that firewheel. Yeah. And it's straight up down with this. Oh, that means that's good, right? Let's see. Warning. <laughs> <laughs> My only, like I say, like I said earlier, the only thing I'm concerned about, are we bottom dead center or top dead center? You know what I mean? Because that you you're you get a one in two chance of getting it right. Because that crankshaft turns twice for every time that pump turns. Because you you're not injecting fuel on the exhaust exhaust. How truck. how how could you possibly use that and know? Yeah yeah. You take your valve cover. You, people real people do it in their shops when they take valve. Real cover. people. We're not real. <laughs> Here. Real mechanics Here. actually take it, you know, they take it off and Real people. do it the right way. Real people. <laughs> but hey, let's send it. Let's send it this way. Right, there is the, huh? Let's send it this way. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, I mean, it already don't work. <laughs> this is comical. I like all you mechanics out there that really, to be honest with you. We we learn a lot from the comment section. That, that's the truth. Absolutely. And uh, and I know you guys are just laughing ass like, yeah, this is definitely not the way you do it. But funny thing is, funny it, ha ha, funny. It right. gets done. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
<laughs> we might go around the elbow. We'll have this one right here. You have to put it reverse to go forward. <laughs> it might. Uh, you might go around the elbow to get to your wrist, but you're there. But you're there. It's not how you drive. It's how you arrive. That's what I'm talking about, driver. Come on. How about you? All right. My assumption is take the lines off. Yep. And then the now I know Cummings and John Deere they have a pin that you that lock you tie. Yeah. yeah, you lock yeah. it down. That's pretty neat there where you do that. I got it one piece at a time. And it didn't cost me a dime. What we're going to end up doing is sending this all to area diesel service up north. We are... Now, I'm going to tell you something. They, they don't pay us to say this. We actually... Um, so don't... don't think, it's not a sponsored video or nothing, but I'm telling you what. Those guys are the best. Yeah. They, uh, they know their stuff, man. I don't think they can rebuild this AMBAC or AMBOC, but they can source us one, you know? Yeah. Because I think they discontinued, and you know, the shops ain't going to keep carrying products that they can't sell. I'm trying to get it where I can get it with my hands, but they're going to make you use a wrench all the way to the top. Looks like one of them was having a little bit of fuel coming out of it, don't it? Yeah. Looked like it would have run off one cylinder. You would think so. I mean, what kind of Mac is this? Yeah, I remember they used to. And then they got lazy. Said, I don't have to run off no one. <laughs> Nobody else does. Ooh, that she's right a little there, runaway. Just going. I know, if I made a whole way in it. She's a little runaway. I tell you, my youngest son is working at the Mexican restaurant now. Is he really? Busting tables. That's awesome. Is he going to give us a discount? He probably won't be there, but I expect he owes them at the end of the week. Got to take that off. What did I do with my... Oh, they're in the other bag. Still learning the the truck. Thirteen sixteenths. We don't have a seven eighths. Funny story about this. Ted, my daddy. Those are my daddy's tools. When he uh. Uh, when he got all his wrenches, he always engraved them with his name, Ted. My daddy told me three things on his deathbed. <laughs> I hope it's 13 16 because I can't find a 7 8. We got some new designs coming out on our merch store. Farm Focused is our the guys who do the merch for us, so if you want to buy some Hamiltonville Farm merch, we'd appreciate it. Let's try to get it on up the other side of the way best you can. Now, do you think that all we got to do is I bet this is where you put the time in there, right here. No, it would have to be timed it down here somewhere. Yeah. Do you take it apart here? No. That comes off and you take that bolt off. All those bolts? No, you the can't cap. take that off. The cap. Yeah, there's like 97. I mean, you could take it off, but there's... Golly. There's probably 12 bolts. With a steel spline there. It's got the... Yeah, I'm, there's probably 10 or 12 bolts on that cap. I guess I need to start working on that, huh? All right, well, there's a return line I saw. And it's got um, 
RTV on it. Somebody's been there? Yeah. Want me to take this cap off? Or do you want to? I mean, why would it be separated right here if you can't take it off right here? I mean, I'm asking because I don't know. Not trying, not trying to be a smart butt, but hey, we can try it for sure. And this right here might have to come off. But I think so. What you're saying? If we take it off there, it just splines in there. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, that's my assumption. That well, every one of them I have seen has had a shaft, and on the end of it had a nut. Uh, you know, they had a gear that you tie mm -hmm. down to keep. Maybe well, I mean, this one's different. Well, I mean, these are going to have to come off anyway, right? Yeah. Because we're going to separate it here. 12 point. 7, 6, 6, seven. Yeah. Seven sixteenths. No, that's a seven sixteenths. It's smaller. I don't know if I got smaller. If it ain't a three eighths, I don't know. There it is. I'm going outside my comfort zone here. Well, what's going to be fun is that on the up off side. Yeah. Look at that. They got electrical tape on there. Huh? <laughs> they put electrical tape on it. Well, see, that shows me somebody's been into this pump. Would you believe so that? So we might be going in the right way. Oh yeah, I got this thing. Look at, look at that's that. Shirt. No, I'm just gonna guess that's black uh, silicone. I mean, that's silicone. Oh, that's silicone. Yeah. Let's see if I'm taking this off. That's probably a seven sixteenth. All right. Slave cylinder on my truck yesterday. Yeah. It yeah. Work. Yeah. Man, we've been mechanic in this week. I know. Funny story is, uh, I got that the, the slave cylinder comes with a plastic retaining clip. Yeah. That keeps the, the piston pushed in. Yeah. I accidentally broke that, it. That, man, that that piston it took forty forever. It, it took me one hour to do the whole job. It would have took me 30 minutes if I could, if I wouldn't have done that. I bet you that sucker right down there sits straight up there. Mark it actually. Can you rotate it? No. Well, I mean, it's gotta come off anyway. Yeah, but I'm thinking that other one must be right there. Oh, you, can you no, know? that's the, just what? a valve or something. I was thinking that... Uh, that, that just pulls out? Yeah. I mean, I, that's a lift pump, ain't it? That's all it is. So, how long is the... How long is the mechanism that is the lift? I mean, is it going to clear this? That, I don't know. See what I'm saying? I mean, you could probably tilt it up. Maybe that is a... Uh, it goes all the way through? I don't think so. I don't either. I, I, I would recommend trying to take the lines off. Well, we can. Oh, there it is right there. There's a nut right there. There must be two of them then. I finally feel them now. There are two of them? Yeah. Oh, great. That's nice. If your pump went bad, your left pump went bad, all of it worked. <laughs> Go behind the... 
What size is it? Half? Yeah. I might have a uh, crow's foot. There you go. Uh oh. I don't know how we're going to get the. the what's that? That's the wrong size. No, this. Three eighths? Right. No, it's a seven. It's a seven sixteenths. I can see it. I can see it right here. If you, if you can get it on it, I can reach it from here. I, I, I can't get on it, but I wonder if we take a swivel and get to that one. Where's your little smaller swivel? Two, Hank. Um, I honestly don't know. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that wrench at? I'll try to work on it from down this side. Have you got a small swivel? I don't think so. I think the only swivels I got are at my house. You got a 716? I do. Here, let me see. I'll see if I can get it from here. Yeah, there it goes. Turn it? Yeah. All right. No, you ain't done. All right. Let me, uh, I really could use some safety glasses. Oh. Can you get that with your fingers now? No. Yeah. Can you? Mm-hmm. It don't look like it's turning, though. Hold your mouth open and you'll see it here. <laughs> I drop it. I feel like I'm turning. I need it. Feel like you're turning what? I feel like I'm turning it. Yeah, you are. I'm turning it now. Trust me. Move that now. I'm gonna pick up. Ain't that a seven six? What was this? Yes, no, it's a half inch. I thought. No, it's not moving. I'm not on it. No. Maybe. There's one. What size is it? What size is it? That, it's a half inch? Half inch, yes. Why would I only have pieces of my cruise foot set in there? And not the whole thing. You got a short 7 sixteenths? Yeah. Like that. I do. What's the, uh, What's the 11? The 10, a quarter, 5 sixteenths. That's a half inch, I believe. That's a good thing. I just tried it. <laughs> tried testing me, are you? I appreciate you. How are you looking out for me? Look at that. Yeah. They, they got a new tool out. And uh, it's where it's, it's basically, it's a flat bar. Yeah. You put a socket on the end of it. It's got a, it's got a, uh, where you put your drill on the other end, and it transfers it. So like you can sled it in there and hook your drill here. Yeah. I saw it on a maybe the GIE or something or the SEMA or something. There's that SEMA I think. Title of this video: How to Take a Mac Engine Apart. <laughs> <laughs> I got it one piece at the time. <laughs> now we're gonna get you. All right. Where's the bolt? Uh, where's the other bolt for it? I'll just keep them together. Leave out there. I don't know, honey. Nope. That's a fuel. 
Where are you, where are you looking for? The seven sixteenths. Yeah, seven sixteenths on that lifter pump. Uh, it's 12 points. Where's the 7 16s? Is that a 3 8 or 7 16s? That's a 7 16 The 3 8 is the 12 points on the ground. On the ones on the inside, Hank, we probably want to have long extensions. Okay, I got one. And more. coming back here. I can handle that. Well, we got that puppy loose. Do what? We got it loose. I'll get it while you just want me to hang out down here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get, get that long extension. Then I'm gonna need an adapter. I don't need an adapter. Maybe a three eighths. Okay, Hank. Yes, sir. You got my part done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's two on that side. Yeah. Boy, I'm not so sure. Where's your uh, impact wrench with a 760? Okay. Coming right up, boss. Okay. Oh really? What that? No, it, it's get the gun. Oh yeah. What I'm saying is, did that work? I don't think. What about this? Let's bring it here. Oh, there you go. That's better. I'm trying to just get the first. Yeah, that's what you got to do. All right. Oh, that makes that much I got you. I got you. So much easier. What you taking that off for? That bracket? Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry. I thought it was actual part of the... Why are you questioning me? <laughs> huh? I don't know. How dare on, you? Shame on me. And the way you ask it, I knew it wasn't a tutorial. You was asking that in shock and surprise. <laughs> All I got three more bolts. On the other side? Down this side. Well, that's groovy, baby. <laughs> uh, three eighths, 12 point. Nine sixteenths. For, uh, for what? That. Uh -huh. Hey, fancy me. All right. It's 12 point. Is this longer or shorter? Not shorter. Okay. Let's see. Hang on. Is that the shortest? No, I got another short. Right. Might have to cobble a bunch of short ones together, but. Because the shortest one I got doesn't work anymore. Cause somebody. Well, they really was torquing on it, wasn't it? It probably would take these off. Yeah. <laughs> What's the chances? Oh boy. All right, there you go. You need another one. A short, short one. No, I'm just trying to get a you ratchet, sure? Don't you don't want a short one to. Probably can get a ratchet. There 
There you go. Come on with it, driver. Well, I got two more. Can you try it with my fingers? Oh, you come off. Come off, boss. What, what's holding the back from going down? Pardon me? What's holding it? Nothing. Nothing's holding my... Can you get it on the bottom one? Yeah, oh, I don't know. We gotta get oh. the top one off. Yeah. Let me see if I can get it there. Keep it on there if you can. Right. How about you not boss me around? <laughs> <laughs> Next time, let's let's put it back on with just a crescent wrench. <laughs> if we did that, we'd be famous. <laughs> Not so much. Nope. All right. Uh, yeah, right there. Come, come, let me come toward. Come toward me. I got pressure. Toward no, you me. don't. Yeah. I got pressure. Okay, now now do it. Yeah, there you go. Way to go, Mac. Put six inch long bolts in there. <laughs> I mean, it's still turning. Next one's going to be the book. Nah, I can get it from the bottom side. I think. Maybe. No, I mean, yeah, we got to find your... You need a longer extension? Well, I'm on it. No. Uh, no, you're not. You're, you need to come way back. You, you need to come back. You're like four inches. Yeah, that's what I thought. It wasn't in the right spot. Okay, now, right there. Come, come toward me, son. You got it. Whatever you do, don't let it slip off this one. I mean, do you want to swap out for the... You want to swap out for this one? How's that, where's that going to finish? That'd be about right with, okay. the, with the other one if yeah. we need it. The magnet? Yeah. That fresh is your, should be all over it. I mean, it just slid off right there. It should be right in there. Oh, it's in the ground. Oh, okay. I went so far back. I want, what, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot we changed the, where is it? Come on back. You got, you ain't nowhere near close. We're gonna have to redo it. Okay, that's fine, we redo it. This time don't drop socket, how about that? How, <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how. That's it. Pull towards you. For you me. better be right. I get it. Yeah, that's it. That's it, dog. Woo! For that. Ah. Now, the moment of truth. Yeah. Oh, golly. 
Did you still have that? Do you still have that little one that you turned a, a flywheel with? Yeah. You did? What does this one do? What that was? What the deal? Nah, I just don't think. I just think it's splines in there. What you? What were you gonna draw? On? Yeah, I thought it might separate here. That does not look like a seam. That does. Telling you, that top part's got to come off. That pump is splined in there somehow. You think we take these three bolts off? One, two, three. Hey. Just now, just gotta come back. But I think it's disconnected. You know what I mean? So I don't think this has to do it. I don't think this does anything <coughs> because when you move that, this it doesn't act like it's stopping it from doing anything. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when, you, when you shake that, this doesn't prevent it from shaking. If that makes sense. It doesn't prevent it from rocking back and forth. See, look at that. You would think that if that was in there further, it would not do that. There you go. I don't know why. See if you got a socket that'll fit. Feel in there and feel that nut on the gear. Okay. So this is my Micro Pro Tool adjustable uh, half inch pull bar. Micro Pro Tools. Yeah, it's neat. It is pretty neat, ain't it? Let's see if it works. Yes. Still turning? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what about that? Yep, yeah, still turning. Huh? It's still turning. Well, Hank, you're going to have to turn it some and let me get in a gear. I'm trying. Uh, hold on, I dropped the socket. You want to, uh, go and foul it somehow? Just turn it, just... See if it'll just see if you can get it to catch and when it does I'll clutch it. Alright. Okay. Then you can put it back on the mark. I got you. Alright. Catch then? No, it's not catching, it's just turning the whole motor. It's just turning the whole motor. That thing's pretty clever. Like I say, is there a way, a way to foul it somehow? There is a way. I'm going to foul it right now. Oh, I'm going to run a bar through the dry shaft? No. About to bump it over inside where they ain't gear. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey oh <laughs> hey No, you just hit that, that's all. That's what we need, a little spark. That's all right. Now you gotta keep things interesting, you know. I 
I'm in reverse now. See if you can turn it back on. You want me to counterclock? I mean, just act like I'm taking it off? I got it clutched. You just bring it around to where you need it. Oh, right? I see what you're saying, yeah. All right. Well, I got a tornado. <laughs> How about you, tornado? Oh, I got it loose. It broke loose. Okay. No, I don't. I don't think that's a good thing. It ain't bad. I can turn it back top dead center. Okay. They gonna send the pump pump back. Yeah, I, I, the nuts off of it now. What? Yeah, I, I broke it loose. Okay. Now, take that blue bar and save that thing. Yeah, I just don't think that's got much confidence in it. <laughs> really don't. You feel the shaft turning in there now? Uh -huh. I put the put the screwdriver up there. Now. There you go, see if you can get in there and I'll pick up on the back of it. Let's see what you got. Hold on. Here in there. But you're just not moving this nut that I just took off. I mean it's not it's not moving when you do that. So it's not connected to the fuel pump. I wonder if the injector will come off the... You got a rubber hammer? Yeah. Well... You had one? I got one at the house. <laughs> <laughs> like I like to say... I've seen this happen, I knew it was there. Yeah. Oh. But I don't know what that boat's for. It's got to be a bleeder valve of some sort. Oh, bleeder valve. Good old bleeder valve. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Do that again. So that, that actually goes in and out. Did okay. you see that move? This this is not connected to that. Yeah, maybe we need to take that off. Cause that's, yeah. Let's take that off. Yeah. Let's do, shall we? Good time for your Chris, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about ready to be done. Five eighths, eleven sixteenths, three quarter. What you thinking? Uh, it's bigger than. See how it moved? That did. Well, now wouldn't that be something if that's all we had to do and we didn't need to take off that cover? And... Yes, it would, Hank. But let's Excuse see. Excuse me. Let's get you. Get a little to it would be something. Hey, when you editor, we're gonna say I'll get you an edit. <laughs> if it's... <laughs> I wonder what the purpose of that is. That's where it missed the bolt somewhere, you know? You don't think we missed the bolt nowhere, do you? I don't think so. Did we miss a bolt on that one? I don't know. Well, it took three out.
this is what we've done if you fast forwarded it to this part right here we removed this throttle linkage we removed this kill switch we removed this fuel line we removed this lifter pump all right we removed six bolts one two three on this side and three on the other side They're, they were 12 point uh star bolts here so these are the uh, six bolts that we removed that were holding this we removed three bolts from this grease hat i mean i guess that's where you put the grease in or whatever there's one two and three we don't feel another one uh so we think there's that and then we took this front cover off with the nut there's, oops there's a nut on the shaft here right here which we removed so we took the cap off of it there was eight bolts that hold the cap on and then we removed this this uh this nut holding the shaft but when we move the pump this shaft does not move uh, so you can wiggle the pump back and forth the shaft that's coming through the front here doesn't move but we can't get it separated so we don't know what to do um we haven't this just spins freely so this is the only bolt that we see that we're not that we haven't taken out all the lines are off so how do we actually remove the pump off the motor or off the engine we just we can't figure that out do we just need to just keep manhandling it or what or is there like a, a bracket in there that we're not is there any more bolts under here there's four more bolts in here but Wiley said it was for the pulley which it might be and uh so we don't know so leave comments about how to get this off we would appreciate that well, you got, you got anything else? Nope. So, all right. See, so a while ago, if you've been watching the video, you know that you can see us been shaking. So check this out here. So how do you get it off? Uh, it's just splined in there. Something's holding yeah. it. Do we need like a come along <laughs> or something? I don't know. But anyway, so leave comments below, please. And, and we'll get this thing taken off. We appreciate it, but uh, we're going to have to end it here. But keep your notification bell on because we're going to take this off, get it shipped off, and uh, get it put back on. This this old Max got to run because we got to be able to drive it onto the, the boat so he can get it down to Haiti. All right? All right. Don't worry about helping me. That's all right. I want you to. Uh, all right. There you go. All right. So look here. On this back, on the last video... We didn't have these off, and that's what was holding us up here. So now that we have this off, now that we have this off, our friends over at Area Diesel Service are going to take care of us with a remanufactured one. Let me show you exactly what they've done here. All right, we got the part from Area Diesel Service. You've seen them do, you know, you saw the clip that they sent us, but, I mean, they've worked with Diesel Creek, Watch West work. Captain Kleeman, they, they're the best in the business, just hands down. Their customer service is out of this world. Not a sponsored video, by the way. But, you know, they're just good dudes. We need to save this box too, Wiley, because that goes back. Yeah. Gotta send that core back. Look at there. It's like it was made for that part, do not it? This is the reman. That sucker. Alright. That sucker ain't light. Alright. He said there was some pieces we're gonna have to take off of it. Yeah, I take that off. I mean. Alright. Oh, it came out of gas. Look at that. We were just talking earlier off camera about not having a gasket and come with one. I have seen it back. Look at that. Greasy. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see what we need to take off of it. Okay. Definitely need to take that off. Oh, got to take. That's no, the that's stop. got one. That's the stop. Does it even come with this? That's the throttle. Or is that the stop? One of them is one of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we definitely got to take that off. We got that. We got that. We got that. Yeah. Oh, uh, got that. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, the. What about 
Oh, that part's on yeah. There. Okay, yeah. good. So we didn't have to take that part off. Of course, we didn't know that at the time. Okay, well, let's get that part taken off. You know, I think we can. Uh, What's that? Hey, we need a little scraper to scrape that uh, part of that gasket off. Okay, I got. I mean, we can do that. And we need to make sure that uh, it's still at the same timing as you left it. I don't. I mean, I don't know. You know how the arrows was lined up here on the fan? You remember? Yeah, but they. I mean, we. No one's moved it, has they? Well, that's what I'm saying. We uh. just need to make sure that the wind didn't blow the fan and cause it to move. razor blade scraper in here. I don't guess I did. I mean you might just have to, yeah, just might have to use something like that. All right, be all right. Didn't they say that was the last one they had? Oh, area diesel? Yeah. Yeah. But that's not a common anymore. I guess yeah. they're all. Yeah, they're getting really lucky. Or I'm all the match. You're going the way of me. Well, that went the way of me. Done with that, let me see. That's probably good enough for him to be a farm work. <laughs> oh, okay, now let me ask you this. Does it need to be thrown around? Oh, I guess it doesn't necessarily need to be any particular way, does it? I'm assuming that's once you get that off you can tell. That's the throttle, that's the stop. It's coming. You know what I need? What's that? Uh, some brake cleaner. way was that like that? Yeah. Okay. Couple pieces to transfer over. Yeah. This be my first injector pump removal. And, and install. And install. And uh how do you get how, how do you get it primed? I, I was watching some stuff about like compressed air and stuff and I didn't know understand what they were talking about. Uh, so how do you prime the pump, you know? took off. Yep. Which makes sense. That's a heavy thing to be laying like that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
I think that's it. Well, surely. Was that it? Uh, here's, oh, there. I don't know what went in here, but probably need to put it back on there, don't we? Listen, you think they <laughs> think they used a different bolt? I wonder what it is. Uh, oh, I know. I bet you that was the cable with mm -hmm. that mounted for the cable, right? I'm sure it was, yeah. Okay. See, Mac did it right. Mm -hmm. All these bolts are about the same size, you know what I mean? You ain't got to guess which one. All right. Now, I don't know how... I wouldn't just leave yeah. it like that until we get it. Okay, okay. Man, that's going to be a booger to try to line those grooves up. Man. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe that's... Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's what makes it. Because it's not. It's, you know, it's. It's. <clears throat> Do we, I wonder if we need to take that out. Oh, it's got a dowel in it right there. Does that matter? Like a dowel pin in there. No, Hank, this right here splines into that. That's the... Did we leave that piece in there? Yeah. But what I'm... What I'm... Yeah, where's the dowel pin? This has got a dowel pin, too. And that's the collar that... Oh, it goes like this right hooks it Hooks it together. Yeah. And these things are straight across. So these... Yeah, but if you move that, that moves the timing. I know it. That's what I'm saying. We might not be in timing. Yeah, we need to move this. This don't matter. Oh, this is not in time. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we can we'll worry about it then. So that. I'll go like that. Yeah. I say it don't matter. I don't I think. I thought it... the pump time too. Yeah, I mean it. When you talked to him, did he? Well, if that's the case, we'll line that. Let's see. So that's that's a hundred and. There's the hole for the dial, which is about three o'clock. And then this is, oh yeah, we're good. It's just a tick off. You might be able to finagle it on there, you know what I mean? Because that looks like, well, that looks more like two o'clock, don't it? See what I'm saying? Well, if I'm looking at it this way, yeah, two like ten o'clock or two o'clock, either way. And then this, yeah, it's at so it's like ninety degrees off. Would that be ninety or forty-five? Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. So that hole right there needs to be up here. Uh, if indeed that's the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't... You might call them, but I think that all that time, when you lock it down, I think that's on the timing of this. I don't think we should move that. I'm wondering if, if this right here... We should move this. I'm sure what I'm thinking. I, I would say, yeah, me too, for sure. Yeah. yeah if, if we move one of the two, I would move this. Because you can use that little... Nip, um, there's an arrow gauge up there. It's right got, there, I'm looking at it. Was it 22 degrees, like before top dead center or something like that? You remember? Got to be. Uh uh. That's 11 o'clock. That is? That's 10 o'clock. Yeah. And that's what that is. Uh uh. Nah. This, this is 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. See what I'm saying? Because you're looking at it this way. Yeah. So it'd be one o'clock, two o'clock. So 
so it would need to be right there. It would need to be that way, like that. Okay. But so we, but we here, down here. Well, if you had it like you had it, it was very close to one o'clock, right? Yeah, but but see the hole in this. See the holes right here. See that? It's got to go in that hole right there. So I think you should actually, actually, you know what? Goes just like that right there, and that goes dead center. That's absolutely 12 o'clock when you put this on there, Hank. This is 12, 12, 6, 3, 9, okay. or 9, 3. All right, well, what is that then? That dial has to be... I'm talking about the, that. That is actually straight up and down, kind of. Cool. Right? So that has to be straight up and down. Oh, I, the, the groove? Yeah. So that groove is at 2 o'clock. Yeah. I mean, the nipple here. So there's 12. 1, 2, 3. So that groove needs to be at... But then, yeah, because you can put that ring where... Yeah, that just needs to come yeah. that way, the ring right there. But I don't know if a complete rotation where it is. Takes it off top dead center or yeah. before top dead center. Right. Or just back it up or can you back it up? Grab hold of that fan. It's, I'm gonna grab hold of that fan. You tell me which way it goes. It's probably worth the I've ever made. But alright, see if that thing moves well, no, that ain't gonna miss clutch fan. Uh -huh. You're gonna need a socket on the. I'm trying to think of some other call. Okay. And see if that's okay to. Give me just a minute. Think of some other. Well, I'll call them. I'll call Curtis. How about you? How about you, buddy? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, sir. All right, cool. Hey, we're we're out here at this mat. We're putting that pump on. And uh, is that pump timed, or can we m manipulate the that uh, output shaft or whatever? The issue we have is we don't. Uh, there's a there's a call, there's a spacer in there. It's got a dowel in it, right? And that dowel lines up with the hole on the motor side. And our our hole is at like three o'clock, but the dowel is at like at two o'clock. And so it, uh, either I got to turn the motor or I've got to turn the pump so that the that yeah. the so the peg goes in the hole. The only the only thing about turning the pump. Sometimes because of the cam and the lobes and the springs, if you turn the pump, sometimes you'll turn a little bit, turn a little bit, and then it'll snap over a lobe and it'll push you past your point. Yeah. So I don't know how hard it is to roll the engine, but usually the engine you can kind of fine tune a little bit okay. better, but I don't okay. know if you can get get to it to turn it. Yeah, we'll, my, we'll stick a socket on the crank or something and figure it out. Okay. Did the or did the other one come off? Did you set it to timing? We thought we did. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. See, I'm not sure on, but if it's if there's a key or a pin, right? Then it should be pretty much foolproof. You get those lined back up. Okay, that's hang good. On, yeah, hang yeah. On. My, my 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 correct dude just walked him off. But hang on, we'll ask him here. All right. Yeah, he says whichever way is easier. If you roll the if you roll the pump over, you know, one hour and it doesn't it doesn't ratchet over a lobe, you're fine. Or if you turn the engine, okay. But as long as you line those dudes up, you should be back in gospel. Soon. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right. All right. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate it. I think I believe you. We had something blow it dirt off with. I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a blower. On your air compressor? I got an air compressor. I believe it's just these three right two right here. I think we need to just take that take these three things off, lift this valve cover off and and what you do, he said the two valves would be loose when it gets top dead center. If not, it's going to be top dead center back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 180 out. Yeah. 
Because it has to come, it'll have to come back off if we. I know, if you don't time it right. And I just wonder if that's got the degrees like we should, if we have to move it over to get it to that 20 degrees. I wonder if the distance between it like and is the actual distance it needs. If we have happen to have it on top dead center now. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um Okay, let's I would I you know, you know me, I'd rather go the easy route, which I think is putting on the pump. Because everything's already loose and But Hank, if we don't if we don't have it top dead center and we spin it and we spin it, how are we gonna time back the pump if we oh, don't yeah. have it right? Well yeah. No, no. Huh? Yeah, I get you. Will you get me a little thing and I'll pop this thing off right here. I don't think take this off and just see where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six bolts on top. I know it's just these three. I think those are head bolts. These right here? Yeah. There's two valves. Oh, I, oh, I didn't see it separated yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay, I see. that screwdriver over here. Okay. Is that how scrape on you? Yeah.
Always one, you know? Always. I mean, the valve cut, everything's loose except that one bolt. And that, I mean, you might not need it. Uh, maybe you don't need it. Maybe it'll pick that. You don't. Let me get back up there. Let me get back up there. I don't know, honey. You don't. You might can work it out. But let me see if I can get that loose. It'll make it a little bit easier. You could have come this side. No, it, it, it won't make it easier. I got it. I mean, it has no bearing on it. Okay. Do you need it to be? Okay. You don't need to take it all the way off, do you? Take it all off. You remember that uh, Joe Namath? Uh -uh. You don't remember him? I mean, I know who Joe Namath is, yeah. yeah. When you did the Gillette commercial. Mm -hmm. All right, see if you can just move it out of there. Oh, yeah. All right, Hank, he told me these two would be loose if it was top dead center. If one was loose, it wasn't top dead center. I would say that's loose. But this one's not. I know, it's just, yeah, I know. So we need to turn it. Uh, all right. I know we bumped it last time with the starter, didn't we? That's how we... Yeah. But I couldn't... Was we that precise to stop? No. I didn't think we were. Mm -mm. Let's see. Let's get... The, what we need. I don't think it needs to be top dead center. I think we have to put it before top dead center, which is where it's at. I just don't understand why the pump would tell you that it needs to be before. You know? Hey, all I'm saying is one of these two's got to be adjusted for it to work. This is a true statement. That's in time. So let's turn this a little bit and just see how it does. I wonder, I wonder if you could turn it like this. You know what I mean? I don't want to break those nipples, you know? Yeah. I didn't really try too hard because I didn't want to break them. Were we under it before? Where's your tarp? There's a clean side and a dirty side. Yep. Because of that excavator. I think that's the dirty side there. Can you get a socket on that crankshaft? That's what I was kind of looking at it. It's a big one, Hank. It's, uh, let me try an inch and a half if you got one. You reckon there's a metric hey, down the back turning it, Hank, off the crankshaft? Oh, you know what? You I, might... I was, what? I was on that, uh... Drive shaft. I uh, mean, the... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I think that's... You need a bar? We want this hole right here to be right here in that vicinity. So that's that's your tool plot right there. So we gotta move about whatever that wedge is right there. Oh yeah. You need some type of bar? Yeah. Uh well I had a big bar but maybe maybe that screwdriver Hank. Is that is that too long? <sighs> Ah, oh, perfect. Other way. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Keep going. You got a long way to go. Can you? Which way's easier? Either way. Yeah, yeah, you got a long you got a long way to go. Can you check the valves up there? I will, yeah. Alright, go ahead and start turning. So 
it ain't there yet, but you're almost to the you're at three o'clock. You need to go just a little more. Now, will they be loose if they're 180 degrees out? That won't be, will it? Like the back will be loose. You got one loose? No, I don't think so. I think that's how it was. Now, number two is loose. The same one? No. The the intake. The intake. The top one is not loose on either one anymore. The one closest to the radiator. Yeah, it's the same. It hasn't moved. So there's two there's two valves, right? Yeah. All right. So the one on the right is the closest to the radiator. It's yeah. tight. The one on the left is the same as it was when we started the process. Okay. It just seems like it's moved a lot, but I guess it No, I can see how much it's moved up here. So remember, that's um, the gearing in that. That turns, you know, X amount of revolutions for every one revolution of the... Okay, tell me when to stop. I will. I mean, you may have to do it, you may have to do a whole 360. Hold them right there, Wiley. Now, the valve ain't loose, but the hole for the the uh, key is lined up. You know what I'm saying? But the other valve is still loose. Yeah. And number two is not, is still tight? No, number two is loose. That's what I'm saying. You may be 180 degrees out. Does that make sense? So, I go with it back the other way? Or, or make another revolution, but that's going to take a while. Either way, it's six one half dozen the other. Well, let's go the other way and see okay. if we can get that number two tight and get number one. I mean, this is easy. It ain't hard. Like, none of the valves are moving up here. So that tells me you're on the back half of the pistons, you know? I mean, they're both loose, but that hole, ain't nowhere, that hole is nowhere near being lined up. I mean, nowhere near. But they're both loose now. They're looser than they were. I'd say they're just loosening on the upper. So it's got to get it 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. Well, they're all, I mean, at some point, they're all on a compression stroke. You talking about number one? I'm just saying that it turned easy till now and it wanted to go back. So it's, I don't know the correct yeah. terminology, but. Yeah, it ain't moving. So they have the word in in, in, in. So the the intake valve, the exhaust valve on number one is loose. The intake valve is loose. On number two, the exhaust is tight and the intake is loose. I think I'm on the compression stroke. In other words, I, I can tell the difference. When I can, I, yeah, that's right. When it's moving, it's making it go back. So that should be top dead center and it's like at five o'clock yeah 5 30 not quite six and it's got to go back till till two yeah you know what that tells me if, if we get it two we might be right i mean if it's if it's off does that seem like it's I, 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 what degrees off what degrees 22 what? huh yeah 22 yeah yeah, you're right. So if you could just make basically a half a revolution. I got to come back. I, if I, you're talking about me get over that compression compression yeah. stroke. Yeah. You ain't man enough, are you? 
But what I'm saying, if I go back and get it lined up, it may be right. That's right. Was one of them loose? Can you remember? Yeah, yeah, one of them was loose, but both of them was not. Could that be 22 degrees, Hank, if we come back? Let's try. I don't know what how far 22 degrees is. Yeah. But you know what? So we're coming back off top dead center now. Okay. I thought that. Are we going to slap it in there? <clears throat> Might as well, huh? Sure. So this, yeah. I mean, I, I may need you to sure turn it. Oh, golly. Hmm? Oh my goodness, really? We should have, Hank, but come on. Definitely should have had something to stick that on there with. I can't see. Got my arm in the way. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let me see right here. I don't want to pull up on that. All right, let me see if I'm in position to do something. Probably need a boat. Maybe we should have like Mark. There's three. Where's they star headed? I think so. it off unless let me see if it's a bad yep oh no that key fell out yep i'll take that out let's just take it out If that's the right bolt before we try something else. There was actually four of these, so that probably would not need it. Okay. I mean, was locked in. Uh, was that the? I don't think they are yet. No, not if there's four of them. No, we, I think those are the ones that goes on the cover. Out, out front. Uh. 
they cut. Good thing we left them out in the weather. Was it too little? Just a tick too little, yeah. No, that's that's him. Yep, there you go. Clockwise. <laughs> that back end needs to come up, son. Oh, my back. Hang on, hang on. You got a bar. What'd you do with that red and black? Now it's got to come counterclockwise. The whole thing counterclockwise. <laughs> that, that has a twist. I got you. Yeah. Just uh, hang on. I'm catching this the corner of that gasket. about three threads if you can. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm talking about with a wrench. Uh. Come on. <laughs> of course, right? Where's my wrenches? See if we can get that one started now. I can't see where. Hold on a while, let me get a. I know the gas has got to go over yeah. some that way. Yeah. Probably what's got you. I think the gas can. Huh? Oh, it got a good way up. Like, turn. Like, way up. Way up. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, that's a little too much. <laughs> hold on. Now, in theory, this one should just go right in, right? Check your gasket. Yeah, it's through the gasket. Okay. There you go. Put right in. All right, now, I think before you pull it up, let's see. Yeah. It slid in, didn't it? Yeah. Now, I can always go move it if it don't. No, nope, you're good. It's just going to take me 40 forever, you know? 
Because I can't the the box end won't get on the bolt. Yeah. I mean actually we just said we would put it on, didn't we? Huh? What do you mean? We said we're gonna put the injector pump on so it's on, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our job is done here. Our job is done. What would be nice if we would if that box end would fit on there I could ratchet it down. That's then soft. anybody would be could be a mechanic. Oh, here. What is this? See that? that. That's too big. Yeah. Actually, I mean, I say that. I don't know. That's too. It's too long of a bolt. Do what, Hank? It's just too long of a bolt. Didn't you say you dropped one on the ground? No, no. I dropped one of I dropped one of these on the ground. I think you picked it up on it. Did you pick something up off the ground? Nope. Let me start these hold that nose cone. These hold that nose cone. There. You want me to put that front cover on? Yeah, I can do that one. Hopefully we figure it out. Two, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We ain't missing three bolts. Okay, I'm missing two. No, there's a. Not unless those were. No, that's got a hole in it, so that was used. To... Oh, it's gonna go in there because you, you didn't want that to come off, I think. You can try them and see. I think they fit. Let's see. Which one do you want me to try? Did that one work? Mm -hmm. I think any way a washer on it would be. I don't think this one fits. Oh, this one don't fit. We're back to the original five that we had. That'll go on the bottom. Oh, here's the two that go on the bottom. Yeah, there you go. There what, they are, Hank. <laughs> what are you going to do with this? I mean, we're uh, missing three bolts. Just tight the fire out of it. We're probably going to have to put a gasket on it anyway. We'll take the rest of our bolts.
these are going to last when it gets lined up perfectly. I wish I could get up under it and see, you know? Up under the pump? Yeah. Will you hand me your old light? Yeah. It looks... It looks butted up, I ain't gonna tell you. I'm not sure these are the right bolts. Are we sure that's the ones that come off of it? Let's, uh, I put, try them on the other part, right? Oh, that what you, if, well, I mean, if that's what you did, it worked. Yeah. You tighten these back up? Yes, you did. Yeah. They ain't gotta be on there to see if we got it right that's, anyway. That's true. Yeah, those are tight. You got them all back done? Yeah. Uh oh, what was that? Oh, it's bad. Oh, I think this is something good. All right, we need something to take that off with and put that in there. That goes in there. I probably should have put that back on first. Do you Why? know? Why? Just so we get it. It got to come off before you take it off, is what I'm saying, right? I mean, we took it off with it on. Right there. Was that a half inch?
This be a daggum miracle if this thing cranks up. Uh-oh. What's this? Did that not go? Oh, wait a minute. That whole... Oh! I see. We just need to take the top off. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad deal right there. So that, that is the piece. <clears throat> this just comes off right here. No. Or. This comes off. Yeah, but. Or either just take that off. And then the hose off the bar. It's probably easier to take these pieces off because it's got that lobe in it and stuff. That, and that's probably already timed some way or another. Another way. Uh, where's that? There's the red and black handles right there beside you. Okay. that slip yeah. but you know what what sucks we need the same thing yeah well we ain't got it that's right we do we do Need one of these. Gotta get parts out. Yeah. Yeah, gotta have the other one too. Uh, what other one? Uh, that's the other one that you took off. Where did that? The broke one? Yeah, right there. I said that was brass. That's a different. That, no, I'm saying yeah, we can take it off right there. Yeah.
two hoses go there. Right. This, what, what is that fuel? You want to put this top this, part on? This will go. We can, we can. Put it this way. Find it below this. Oh, that's a fuel filter. Okay. Okay, so it's Definitely. Filter. Yeah, that boat is there. Now there's a plastic plunger in there. That bolted to that. Wait, what? Wait, hang on. There's a part that goes. I, I know it, but wait. Hang on. Go ahead. That goes there. That it filters. This hole goes into. We need that. We, we want? got one on the other one that if you'll take it off, it'll have a couple of washes just like that. Alright. Well, I mean, I took it off already. Uh -huh. Try to look on that one. What does that front one look like? Oh, oh it's a different. No, it ain't. That part's off. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's can... a different. Yeah, well, anyway, that would go on there for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm You do you. I, I'm, I'm just re I'm just putting parts on. I mean, like we know the injection line goes on top. You know what I mean? Come out from here to there. Oil line to there. We're gonna take this that line's off. gonna go back into the tank. I don't know what that's for. Um, what goes here? Oh, well, then before I take that off, let me make sure that that did go in there, right? That line. Yeah. The other one, the other one, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this goes in one. Oh, uh, what is this? We didn't have this. Yeah, we did, remember, I mean, because I was like, why is that? I remember talking about that. That's all. What about this bottom? going to be return of the fuel I had to pump and I'm thinking since this is going into the oil there had to be a line that went from here to there that drained somehow or another that drained back to the oil tank. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. We got Wiley with me today. Hey, good up, morning, buddy? boys in the woods. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. My buddy Matt over at Boys in the Woods. I bought it from there. Here's the website. They do a lot of cool stuff on this channel. Yeah. So their Facebook page, YouTube channel. Yeah, I wish we could be like that. Yeah, we're not. We're not quite that hardcore. Uh -huh. So he's also young. He's a young cat. Well, I remember it's, it's, that days. Yeah. Do you really? Kinda. Nah. <laughs> it's all a blur. We got a Mac here. Got a fuel pump on it. Probably needs to be plumbed in. What do you think? Yeah. You want to get at it? Yeah. All right, let's get at it. So. Oh. Less hanking and more cranking. Oh. I think all we have to do is just like get a fuel source to it. Uh, we got to find this line because this is going to be an old, old fuel. 
Where's that line at, eh? Mm -hmm. Is it still on the old pump? I doubt it. I doubt it, too. I brought the old pump with me, but I don't think it's on there. I definitely don't think it's on there. No, it's not on there. Well, we definitely got to have that. Wherever it may be. Well, do you want to just start connecting things, or? Well, it... let's just get the. Yeah, I got. Uh, all right, what I got here is a little barb. We go in there. We can hook up a fuel line to go into this fuel pump. Okay. I'm assuming since the pump's here, that must be the intake side. This this one went on the underneath it side. Huh? So because I broke this I broke yeah. this one. Right. So that side goes to this side. This yeah. and that. Yeah. And then this other line down here goes to the left side. Alrighty. And then this is a I've line. got that. I've oh. got that. I thought it was broke, uh, but it it was not. I'll have to put that back on there. And that needs a, that needs a, uh, or actually maybe that one goes, yeah, because it's got the, yeah, there you uh, go. This, this is going to come, yep. Yeah. Good thing they put that mount right away. Oh, that was for that yeah, they, filter, yeah, that's, that's a filter housing. Mm -hmm. I really don't think it was on there. I think it was a customized. But what we got to do is get, you don't have to, well, you. You talk to the chief. I'm just doing this to take, take up time. This actually is going to fit right there because that's got to be uh, the return line going to the tank. Right, this right here. Am I on your way? No, go ahead. No, am I? If I'm in your way. No, you go right ahead. <laughs> no, please, sir, after you. I thought I was, I was trying to be out of your way by doing this. We got the fine lines is what we're trying to do. So these are the two lines. Here's a line that goes to the filter. And here's a line that goes back to the, what well, goes to this filter. And I'm thinking since that's got a screen in it, this was the intake of it. Can you let that up? Let's put it on. Oh, it's both, both of them. Oh, okay. That's just, a, that's a secondary. Here, let's set that to the side. We're going to bypass that. Our fuel source is going here. Now we need to get it from here to there. Which, can we use one of these lines? Or is that the, they're too big right there? Well, that's a barb versus a... Yeah. Well, I was just going to bypass it. This is the fuel supply right here. Where, there's another one somewhere. This is return.
So this one. This would have went there. That would have went to that filter. Now that filter would have went to the tank. To the tank. What is that filter? Yeah, this would have. This would have come out here, and that would have went into there. Filtered one more time. That up to that. Yeah. I can do that. Hello. I wonder if that one just comes off like so. Uh, yep. I wonder if that's the hot. It don't matter though. Yeah. Wow, well, it's already getting 200 degrees out here. We, uh, does this Mac beside us have the uh, same fuel pump set up? Can we reference it? I knew I got to have you around for something. Right? <laughs> I just didn't know what. That's a good idea. but it didn't. What did you do? No, that slipped off. You're on the same fit. You get on, get on that and this. Mm -hmm. huh? Now get on that fit. This one? Yeah. Maybe. Hey, I'll yeah. get a different pair of these things. Should I have left it on the... Should I have left it on the... Um, pump? I got, it'll take hand a second, but. Yes, just, just hand me this, hand me this. I've got a vice I can stick down here. Yes, Should I have left it on the filter? Uh-uh. It is hard for two people to do that, ain't it? It is, very hard. But that fitting right there is giving trouble, I can tell you that. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Microphone wire. 
It must have built this for the Jolly Green Giant. <laughs> I know, whose who's torso is 90 foot long? They'd be half the price if they'd cut the, the wire down that much. <laughs> All right. Let me try it. Yeah, you can. Seven minutes of yeah, no kidding, trying man. to get up. I got it. You got it? Yep. Well, of course you did. Ah. Nothing could be that complicated. Pull your truck up a little bit and your hood's gone. I don't know, it might be make it. But it won't get around you. Yeah, we'll see here, sir. So the filter, the front filter here, goes to the out, out to the pump, and to the bottom left side of this. Where is this? So this. Yeah, there's that. There's that oil line. We got to have an oil line to go back into the. I think we found one right there. I don't look the same. Ours is over somewhere. You just put it and you lost it. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna have that. We, I think we got everything set up to get the fuel, and we just let's find out that oil line. Okay. Pop, can you pop that off? Can you get that door open? And look in there. See it through the window here. Did we have this door open at one time? Yeah, but. Oh, well, oh here we go. What's it? That's it. That's the way to go, Hank. Good job, Hank. Good job. All right. I win an award. Okay. <laughs> if you'll get a wrench, we'll, we'll run these two up tight. I think they look like one. So we're not. This is a barb. 
Yeah, I got a fuel line right there. We're going to stick in that off-road fuel tank and we're going to put fresh fuel in this okay. pump. All right, where does this, uh, so it goes to this one to and which is this one? And that one, okay. Yeah. And what, what okay. What, we need to tighten these up right here. What size you reckon they is? These are bigger than the 916. The barb, the barb is okay. Alright, well this don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> I've been wrong before. What's your plans this weekend, Wally? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, see, I don't know. Too early to tell. Yeah. I thought a man of your stature would have your social calendar already. Oh yeah, out. well. One would think that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret. <laughs> These look like the fillings in my mouth, silver and gold. I got all kind of mixed fillings in my cavities. You got gold? I do have a gold. I got a gold bridge. Silver and gold have I none, but what I do have, I give freely. Take up your mat and walk, or something like that. Something to that effect. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, let's turn this around where it can. Should we turn our lever around? Need that. Need that. Oh, the elbow there? Yeah. A little skinny screwdriver might work. Put down in the, in the opening. I mean, that's, you know, basically most of the show is about what not to do. <laughs> and this is what happens if you do it. So, yeah, it would be, you know, kind of perfect. Scalpel. Hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. It was a great movie. It was a great movie, wasn't it? 916th, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. We just took off. Okay. The bottom of it, we got to get it in that, and then we're going. Okay. Where did I set it? Oh, been a snake that bit me. If you haven't seen part one and two of these of this video, I'll leave a link up here in the corner. You can go check it out. Stretch! Just don't, don't be surprised if you see this Mac about 27 times. <laughs> Been working on it for a while. quite been a year because it was cold weather when we was down there trying to start this. But it 
it's been a little while. Been a little bit. This this is actually uh, this truck is actually going to Haiti, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this truck is going to Haiti. These guys in these overseas, Haiti, Guatemala, stuff like that, they buy these trucks because they don't have all the restrictions that we put on them here in America. But I mean, this truck right here will run another 15, 20 years in in Haiti. That needs it's, to be tightened. It's not. Oh, it's okay. Let's bring this up and get it pointed that one before you tie it up. Tighten it up. Probably need to do like that. Uh, but it's uh anyway it, Wiley on his channel don't be Wiley he's got some trucks going that went to Guatemala they they piggybacked them so go check that video out but it's uh after you watch this one don't leave me to go to him <laughs> <laughs> if you leave me now left, hey, you'll take start, away the biggest part of me <laughs> For those three that are still hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Those three that fell asleep and just woke up. <laughs> hey! Hey! Wake up! <laughs> All right. Hold on, let me get you some yeah, wrenches. I think that's a three-quarter up there. If you don't get top, I'll get the bottom. Of course, I'll need two wrenches, you know, because I can't make it easy. Two 11 sixteenths. Let me grab another. Almost three quarter. That thing's sixteenths of an inch away to be a three quarter. You believe that? So this is a Michael Pro Tool wrench. This is not a sponsored video, but I do have a discount code. I believe it's HF15. GoMichaelPro.com. They got. They don't have. They have a lot of different type tools. So go to my GoMichaelPro.com, and I think my code is HF15. It's either HF10 or HF15. My editor will put it on the screen here when we uh, uh, figure out what it is, but. They got the they got some pretty neat tools there to work with. Again, not not sponsored by the way. Or this video is not sponsored by them, but they do work with us. Wow. Oh, yeah. I don't mention Michael Pro a lot, do I? But they're good. We like them. I don't know why I don't do more work with them. I've been, how long have we been using Michael? It's been a couple years now, ain't it? We've been using their stuff. I think so. Alright. Okay. okay. Did you tighten that up? Uh-uh. Okay. I need to tighten it. So... Uh, what'd you do with that big ring? It's on the battery box, bro. All right, I'm gonna need a pair of pliers or something. That's not. I'm hoping that it just seals up pretty good right there. And I believe it will. What if this thing fires up, Wiley? Our mission be done. <laughs> What if it fires up? I mean, I, I say what if. It's, I mean, that's the whole reason we're out here. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I thought it was just a... We did use a crescent wrench. I need to get back to my roots and do more work with crescent wrench. Wiley has corrupted me. Okay. Wanted me to get all these newfangled tools and stuff. Let's see. That's really a lot. That's a lot. That's good right there. You gonna cut it? Yeah. Cut towards your body, not your buddy. That's a sweet cut. You like that? Where'd you feel? I got, we got, you got the lines in. Where? A few lines. Where? This line right here. 
We got we still got work to do. Oh my gosh. That line, I had it off the other day. I don't know where it's at now. Gotta take these little plastic caps off and drop them down in behind the fuel so they can melt with the heat of the motor. That'd be bad to get these lines mixed up. That'd be horrible. I need a. So what? There's a hose that goes. There you go. Let me get my hand first. Okay. No, sir. How does Gina, I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she, why she puts up with you. Because she loves me. All right. Now you can hook that up. See, that's where I thought it might have been broke. But it, it was. It's just a fuel line. We can get some duct tape. That's right. I mean, just a return line. Return to sender. <clears throat> Where's the 916 wrench? Oh, the nine sixteen. Gotta be over there somewhere. Look at look at the cameraman coming through. Just kidding. It's not a nine sixteen. It's a crescent wrench. Figure this thing out or what? <laughs> there, it, here's, here really is a simple thing. It really gets simple after this. As long as the time is right. If it don't work, I'm going to have to hire somebody. <laughs> yeah. But is, you don't think it's going to leak? No. All right. I know it would leak the other way. Oh, oh I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think we need to take this 90 off and just screw that directly in. <laughs> now, why would you say that? Lining the threads up, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. So I can cross thread them. That, they're not. Yeah. That is so difficult. It is, and it? if you don't hold your mouth right, because it actually feels like it's going, but it ain't. It messes with you. Messes with your emotions. It's just emotions that's taking me over. I uh, see your cockeyed. I see it right here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> cockeyed. Cockeyed. 
Amy. Oh, boy. Where's the fit that come out of? Well, it went in that time. Trust me. All right, I'm assuming this T's right here. Yeah. Because this comes out of the injectors and this must be fuel that the pump didn't burn to put everything back gotcha. in there. That's all I saw. I think it's gonna work. Let me put the crescent air wrench on right before somebody gets mad at me. Well. You don't even know how to use crescent wrench. I am the crescent wrench king. What you talking about, Willis? Well, a lot of people really don't understand the concept of this channel. <laughs> Sometimes it goes over their head. They, they misunderstand you so much. We're, we're actually brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> you don't believe us, just ask us. We'll tell you. Oh, acorns right there. Same thing if they did to the deer. You know, a lot of people got the how to <laughs> channel. <laughs> they got to. We oh, got the how not to. Oh, you're saying, yeah. I thought you said got to have two channels. Not how two channels. I said what I said. I said what I said. This front cover is not, um... You're the one that put it on there. You didn't tighten it. Uh-uh, they're not tightened down. But I found two more screws to go in it. Well, everything should be here. I think that was left over with these when we took that plate off and looked at the plate. Hey, you want to show them what the real actual the plungers are supposed to look like? <laughs> <laughs> Ariel Dacia said, no, I heard them. <laughs> Don't touch it. All right, so I need a ratchet. What size is that? I need a socket with a half inch in it here. That might be a little too big, is it? We'll see though. to uh, tighten it. Well, I left the injector lines uh, loose. Yeah. Okay. something else about these trucks that I want the people to know mm -hmm. for what they bought them for and purchased them for you could almost carry them to the scrap yard they're not high dollar trucks at all right. but they do um, I guess they just got so many Mac products and people that knows how to work on them is why they really like the Macs and like you said, they don't have the electronic this. They don't even want one with electronic, or my man don't. I'm not saying that everybody, that all of the buyers over there like it that way. But now they do have a need for, they hunt a single axle rear end for a Mac and are international, I mean. <laughs>
told you. People ask why I wear gloves. I don't like getting my steering wheel dirty because I drive my truck to church sometimes. Can't be getting my church clothes all greasy. Hey, look. Uh, you, are, have you got everything hooked up in there? In where? Oh, uh, yeah, all this yeah. is, yeah. All right, can you, is there a place we can set this up there that looks flat? I'll, I'll climb up top. Yeah. Is You're it, young. Why? Yeah. You're young, yeah. Man. They think I'm your grandfather. <laughs> All right, Dad. And I think that, no, I'm your dad, and uh, they think Jacob's my great-grandson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going to go down. Uh-oh, Hank. Sir? Look to your left. Look to your left on the hood. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all right. We'll just be careful with them. Uh, hey, buddy. Well, thank we, goodness it's too hot to fly. Yeah. We won't mess with you. You don't mess with us. How's that? No, they he, he messed with Hank. They gone. Yeah. It's not quite yet. <laughs> you think you can set it up there? Yeah. All right, you're going to come back down here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, I need a... Uh, give me a... Uh, like a pair of, that, there's a pair of vice grips right there beside the... Beside the what? Uh, tool yeah. bag. You know that song that Give Me Three Steps, Mr. Yes, Give me, that was such a good song. He done got himself in a bind, didn't he? Yeah. Alright. Alright, let me see if I can get some fuel started. Oh, gosh. That didn't sound promised. Well, I should have got the fuel started before I put it in the bobby. Before I put it in the bobby. <laughs> oh, before you did, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hank, now you know. I'm in the bobby. You need a, a flathead screwdriver? Why do they call Harley Davidson flatheads? Is it because of the engine head? I would assume so. Panhead? Yeah. I think that'd be a good name for you. Panhead? <laughs> Panhead. That'd be better fathead or meathead. Well, yeah, I've been my meathead. Uh, wasn't uh, uh, All in the Family? Wasn't he meathead? He was. Yeah. Boy, that sure wouldn't make it today. No, it sure wouldn't. Ain't nobody take a joke. Make fun of themselves. You want to do that? No, I don't. Uh -huh. Sure don't. You looking over here like... I got to kiss my wife this afternoon. What you talking about, Willie? <clears throat> oh, we got contact. <laughs> Look at that. Come on. Come on. You, you want me to get your rag? Look you at got that. her now. They're really nothing like old oh, taste of diesel fuel in the morning. Well, look how easy that went on there since it had to <laughs> lube. Schwick them. Something's not right. Or is this because these are open? Would that be the case? No. Okay, we got them backwards. No, you wouldn't have them backwards because the pump is no kidding pumping from the source to the pump, you know what I mean? Right? I mean, the pump, that's what that pump does. It draws the fuel from the tank. One would think that, Hank. Hey. This is brand new. That's why I know it's good. Let's see. That one don't have one on it, I don't think. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely out. That's the outside. Sure. <coughs> okay. Let's just see if we can spin it over and get it to do something. This side? Yeah. You remember which, which one's hot and which one's not? 
When you're hot, you're hot. And when you're not, you're not. Alright, Hank, this one right here is hot. Sample. Alright, let me get some bite scripts. I wonder if it's just got a bump over and let me get on the throat. Who knows, Hank? Who knows? Um, let me get some wrenches. Uh, we don't need two, honey. Batteries? Yeah. Okay. I know you're slacking, and you're waiting on me. Well, uh, one can be down here where you got Kit. Kit from here. Need two vice grips. Huh? Or a hammer. Oh, well. Uh, I need a half inch here. To, to get these. Well, you got a pretty one here. Yeah, I had to buy new ones. I think you lost my other ones. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Ethan. We know it runs off easy. Let me take this. One. Yeah, take care of business. Oh, under this fender is it digging? Didn't even notice the one at the fender. That's the way it hit him. Like, what a hang. I hope if you shoot me, I hope, you, I hope I get shot, I hope you shoot me. Let me tell you that. I hope I get shot at you. You're the one that's doing the shooting. You know what? I hope if I get, ever get shot at you, you're the one doing the shooting. You drowning them, man. Mission accomplished. Right. Ether. He's looking for Ether. Are you going to bump the starter, or has it got a key? Oh, uh, it's got a key. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it should start, eh? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men and women of all ages, 
The moment you've all been waiting for. I know my friend told me it had a key. It does. <laughs> and I believe you. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Oh, boy. You fried something, didn't you? Come on. What did yeah. you do? What else you got? What have you done? Brother. Go beat something over here. Okay, that's what it was. Let me here. Yeah. Let me stay up here. <laughs> In the cool AC can. All right, here we go. <laughs> Any fuel coming out of it? Yeah. Woo wee. Yes, sir. All right, our job is done. <laughs> you almost got that shot, cameraman. <laughs> Me jumping out of the tank, hitting the round spot instead of the step. It sounded good, didn't it? Oh, buddy. <laughs> I'm telling you what. Like a race car. Wow. You know, Hank, if this works, we can, let's retire. <laughs> let's retire. I mean, there's nothing that we can't do. This is almost like heart surgery. <laughs> it really or is. Or either put in a pacemaker. Yeah. I mean, it's delicate. My, my grandma, she, you know, she's getting up there in age, and we got to looking at putting her in a rest home. Man, that's expensive. So we dropped her off at a rest area up there on I-10. <laughs> I'll be dropped her off at a all security guard. <laughs> yeah. All night security. Yeah. Security. That, nothing out of this one though. But I don't love you just didn't give it enough time. Well, I think it's gonna fly right off. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't have the fuel tank. Oh, okay. If it runs away, that's the fuel. That's the stop. If that's it the runs stop. away, yeah. And if it really runs away, snatch this out. Yeah, that's right. Because I'll be running toward the pond. <laughs> <sighs> All righty. One more time. So thanks to our friends over at Area Diesel for, uh, I, if you didn't see the last video of us kind of just fumbling our way through it, go check that out because it's, it's pretty cool to see how we don't know what we're doing, but the end result is we got it running. And we're going to crank it up again here because Wiley will need to take a video for the, the, bu the buyer that's going to eat. Or his friends in Haiti. And then I want to send a video, I want to send a clip to Area Diesel too just to show them, you know, that it's... 
Listen, if you do that, they're going to want us to follow their <laughs> pumps and put them on. They're going to want to sponsor us That's and pay us millions of dollars. We can't to, even get out of the house. You know what I mean? I can't, I can't even go eat somewhere, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can you believe that, dude? I, can, I cannot. That's awesome, man. All right, if you hit the key. All right, uh, make sure. I don't know if you'll need to finagle that or not. But. Cameraman got shrapnel. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Sometimes when you do heart surgery, you have a leaky valve. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool, wasn't it? It was. Nine well, sixteenths. What be? That's a nine sixteenths for that one. Yeah. Which one? You're a heavy. Oh, it's, the, it's that one. Okay. You was loosening it up. I need a another nine sixteenths. Yeah. I need a five eight. Five eight. Man, that thing fired right up, didn't it, dude? You know. That's why we have to take a long time filming because you. I mean, we're just so good at what yeah. we do. Yeah. <laughs> we're just so good at what we do. Oh my goodness. Hey. Something. Probably got has happened here. Well, I think it's the. Uh, I think it's that hoses might have a crack in it. No. <laughs> I think that's going to, this is really an adapter. Oh, I see what you're saying. Do you really? Yeah. Because right there, It's just, it's just old, man. <laughs> it's like you. You got bladder issues. You got leakage. You got leakage issues. Sponsored by Depends. <laughs> I mean, you are eighty. I don't know. I don't know much, but I know I love you. I don't know much. But I know when Jack <laughs> That may be <laughs> all I need to know. Well, that's okay. It actually need it was it was touching on the stick, but we have got some. I think we did good. No fuel leak. Mm -mm. No yeah. wash things. Yeah. Shoot. Who you gonna call? <laughs> <laughs> did uh, you get one for you? I was gonna get you to airdrop me that. Okay. So. All right. Let's go before it breaks. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Ain't that crazy? Hey, one, hey let's crank it and let's drive it. Oh, go ahead. Let's end it with, with a drive and off. Okay, let's do that. Let me get all this. Let's drag the battery and run over it and all that. We got the camera up. Yeah. Have Simon run in front and say, well, and really probably didn't even need either, did we? No, I don't think we did, to be honest with you. You wash your hands with eight dollar, eight dollar soap. Well, you're welcome, I was I knew you wouldn't mind. <laughs> I knew you would just grumble a little bit. 
I mean, you gotta be home by 11 so you don't buy, have to buy lunch. I know we got company, true. dude. Huh? We got company. Got co You're such a social. <laughs> We're entertainers. I'm gonna drive this bad boy out of here. Well, we can't let the hood down, I think that might be a cost of the fuel situation. Yeah. Well, right. we could let it over a little bit. That's all right. Enough to get it to move. Where is the, uh, where'd that can of starting fluid go? All right. Oh, yeah. If you get it running a little bit, I'll take this battery off. Probably crank on one battery now. Well, I'll slap it up on there. Maybe. I wonder if we go up on top of this field thing. Hey, guy. I mean, what could go wrong? See that hood down, see how it lands on the, the camera in there. You are so you are so worried about somebody hitting that truck. I know, dude. Down. It almost like it's auxiliary fuel tank, like it was meant to be there. <laughs>
Let's go. All right, let's lift the hood over. I tell you what, them vines are get you on it. They just. I heard something. You believe we've run it out of fuel that sucked that much fuel out of it, huh? I do believe that. Without putting it back in the van. Yeah, I do believe that. That thing's set 19 years. It's, I promise you it's been 15 years since it's been I, I think the, I think the first time we come out here was 19 for real. Well, we changed. That changed. <laughs> <laughs> so 20. It's actually 20 now. We did the, uh, when I tried to start it in a minute, uh, we did it when I brought it here. We did it when my son and I tried to pull it off. We did it when we took the injector pump off. We did it. This is the seventh time that we yeah. tried it. Seven times a charm. We got seven it. times a charm. Yeah. Don't it, never give up on it. Listen, and if you need, we only charge by the hour, and it, yeah. might, it might take us a year to get it. But by God, we hour <laughs> and what do you call that per diem? Uh, uh, yeah, per diem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching. Take care. God bless you guys.